you later. I'm, I'm loading up Taco right now. I'll play some. I want to play some uh, some some Taco, and then we'll we'll figure out if we're gonna play some Apex or some Age of Empires. <laughs> Moist. One of the guys that killed me yesterday in factory, you know, the one that did like 12 headshots in a row when I was, whilst I was like jumping down at him. You guys, anyone remember that that kill? The thir thirteen, yeah. His name was so fucking offensive, and I mess messaged Battle State Games about it, and they didn't understand it because they're Russian. I'm like, gosh, this is fucking offensive. And they're like, we'll look into it. I'm like, oh my god. Like normally, normally like they they understand it all straight away, but that one they didn't. What was his name? I'm definitely not fucking saying. I'll be banned off the platform. <sighs> I'm actually so surprised that gazelles are actually just straight purchasable. I did not know that until yesterday. What type of stream was a lie, guys? All right, you can just unfollow me and leave now. I don't have time for people like you. My 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 patience is short. No one saw the name. I know because I can I covered it up. Wasn't this song just on? Nice beard pass. Thank you. Been growing it for a while now. I've been growing it for so long and I was like, oh my God. What's the game so dead lately? It's had me really a, a patch in a while. Moist. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I don't have any um any meds left. There we go. Is there radiation in the game now? No, there's not radiation in the game. Right, that'll do. I love you. Oh, I don't have any labs keys. <laughs> I was like, oh, I'll grab my labs keys. I'm like, wait a minute. Something missing here. Hmm. Righto. What did you do to me, chat?
All right, so I have no keys. Wonderful. All right, Angel Chat, you're gonna ask my phone because it's for the Switch contract. Oh, big stretch. I thought I was gonna do the coaching sessions. Not. No, it was a very last minute addition. It was a very last minute addition. Can I donate my the key She donated a thousand dollars as well. Thanks, Kev, for yesterday. Congrats, Pest. Uh, I want a code yesterday. I'll be co contacted through Twitch, correct? Correct. So if you were one of the last 15 standard accounts winners, um, my wife was out of the house. She's, she's visiting her sister um, in a different city at the moment, and um, she was out all afternoon. So she'll get up this morning, like probably in about five hours' time. And she'll just organize them in the morning when she gets up. So... We'll probably get it about within the next 12 hours. Love everything you do. Ah, uh, Spicy Boy, thanks for seven months. Steve, he was thinking for 30 months. All right. Well, let's get myself a blue key card. No, this is it blue? Green. Green key card. Or a black one. Black one. I'll be happy with the black key card too. Or a management office. Some really good plays yesterday too. Every time I do a hollow video from the charity events, the comments are so negative because of like they're like, there's so much TTS, I can't hear anything. I'm like, oh boy, the charity events to raise money. It's gonna be a lot of TTS. I actually hate TTS spam, so I can imagine why people wouldn't like it in YouTube videos. Without Twitch chat as well, it doesn't really have the same context, hey? Like, if I go to a stream and it's nothing but TTS spam, I, I generally can't watch it. Quite raid, no raiders. No raiders, no players. Saturday night too. It's kind of surprising. Kiki stream, stream she does. Thank you. 
I, I can't watch you stream. At all. <laughs> Someone's shooting over at uh, Hangar Gate. Taco was, I guess Taco was kind of dead due to everyone went bankrupt. It's like all the prices stayed expensive, but Bitcoins went down. Salva, is military speak for medic? No? Correct. When's the hot top stream? Early June. Buy camera. What the fuck? Grandpa died tonight. Rip. He was a simple man, but he had 28 grandchildren. Him. Sorry to hear. Um. Flipping Whale, thanks for the prompt. Spicy Boy, thanks for seven months. Steve816, thanks for 13 months. You can actually catch me at guard, off guard here. He's on the stairwell going up. Might have heard that. You heard that. I'm half tempted to try and get in that corner. I need the other guy shooting.
man only way enjoy duck of nowadays is watching a stream great work with charity event yesterday. He could have gone up there and ran across because there's no fucking audio, audio that comes from the second floor down. It's so frustrating. <sighs> like I couldn't tell if he'd left that spot because of the audio. Man, that sucks. Wait, I got shot in the head by... Oh, the, uh, the Raider must have had the BTMO. <sighs> Love you, pest. Uh, rag attack. Thanks for three months. That was the same guy at the stairs. Yep, hundred percent. Once you get and far enough up on those stair that staircase, there's no audio. He'd, he'd be completely silent. Do you have drip? Motherfuckers drip. You see the teaser for the Mark 47 on Discord? Looks pretty cool. Is that the mutant? I'm going to do a zero to hero. A three months of dirty beards. Captain Price over. Mm-hmm. Not exactly zero to hero, but any plans to maybe try the snowball challenge again? I did it the other day. Completed it. Done and dusted. Where did it first go? I hope know. everyone lifted big weights today. We raised 122,000 yesterday. Meme Farmer, thanks for three months. Class of Angry, thanks for the 11 months. Wasn't around for the second half of the fundraiser yesterday. Congrats, Pest. You're doing great things. Thanks, mate. We do predictions? Yep. Why'd you put on a cheap helmet? It's a good helmet. Any new games coming out you're excited to try playing? I want to play New World. Uh, new World should be fun. I was really excited for this Rust wipe. And then I realized I had the charity event and my family visiting at the same time. So, not that that's a new game, but... I think Age of Empires 4 will be interesting. I don't know if it'll be good. Uh, learning small, thanks, dude. What type of stream when? Um, start of June. Are you a little hyped for Battlefield 6? Um, how do I word it? I'm excited to see it'll be good to play it, but those kind of games don't really get me excited anymore because 
unless they bring something new to the table, it'll be just the same game. I'd be I would I would love it if they add something new to the table, like a really new kind of like mixture. It's like, are you excited for the next NBA 2K22 or 23 or 24? Like, it kind of feels like the same game a lot of the time. You know what I mean? Like, with that updated roster. And I love NBA 2K. Like, I buy every single fucking one of them. You know what would actually be better? Instead of doing a Battlefield, like, was it 6 that's coming out? Do Battlefield 2143. Do another Battlefield 2142, but add one year and make that game great again. Because that fucking game I love so much. a lot of lab trades yesterday and today and I have not found any green key cards Parking it. Pestily salute, pestily moist. All right, Gato or four, thanks for the nine months. Kip and Gek, thanks for the two months. I have not tried Pavlov. <laughs> Fuck that was wrong door. You don't hear them until they come halfway down the staircase. Oh, it's fucking frustrating. <sighs> I hit him. I hit every shot then. I'm pretty fucking happy with my shooting then. That was some fucking... <laughs> like, obviously I got caught out way out of position, but... The, the wood we heard, I think, was actually to the front. It was somewhere different. It wasn't the one behind. I've never played VR, ever. Um, it's, obvious, it's obvious that we need to use a Remington. If we go to lies with a Remington, it's going to be nothing but success. So we're doing that. Lab... I wonder if I could just buy an M700 with it. Sight running out.
absolute banger. How are things? Good, thanks, mate. How are you? Got a PK06 I could borrow? Mm. Probably not. We're leaving it loud too. Congrats on the hot tub. Maybe I should be tan. Can't fail now. All right, and dog chat, you can ask what I'm going to do for the Twitch contract. When, you do, when will you do paint? About two weeks. I've got to buy an easel. My mum, my, 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 my wife's going to love, um, my wife's going to love that buying an easel. I'm like, ooh, I can do painting. I'm like, yes. Have you ever considered watching community clips on stream? I usually do that during, um, downtime. All right, there's your ad. You know how um, Baba Abe's got the the ninja um, costume or outfit for Rust? Is that is that a hazmat? It's a hazmat. Interesting. I wonder if I could, um, I wonder if I could get a plague outfit. Maybe I'll make it slightly brown. If I did a play outfit, it would look exactly like his, so. Play PM, please. Oh, mac and cheese. How did the latter half of the trade stream go? You saw you broke 120k mark. Great. Some success of that stream. Thanks, mate. Went really well. 
Why is no one running around now? To be honest, the right before last, no one made a noise for the first like 10 minutes. Went well, yep. yep. Open the gates. Super quiet, right? Look like a barbarian with that beard. Happy to be here. Thanks for everything, I mean. Hey, machine, thanks for three months, dude. Not even Raiders about. I've got every server I can join selected, so... Starts open. Oh man, there's a rat somewhere around here. That door 100% starts open. Some of these still will start open too. They don't both start closed. There's been music eating five tier three subs right there. Can we get some moisture in chat? Five gifted tier three subs. Thanks so much, man. That's super, 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 super generous. I also saw you gifted some subs yesterday. I do appreciate it. I'll, during the charity streams, I, I try not to put any focus on subs because, like, obviously it's about raising money for the for the kids. Do appreciate it.
Oh my god, I missed. Oh my god, I missed again. Aim pass. No. Found him at least. Not son. Oh my god, Pat. He shot me, I don't even know how many times that was. He shot me through the left arm three times and into the thorax three times. He shot me three times in the thorax then. Or three times in the stomach? I don't know. He fucking just owned me. What's the distance to that play kill? Probably 100 meters. During your stream, you said something about the white being next Thursday. Is this true? I never said next Thursday. When you think you're pro? Excuse me? Why is that clip title when you think you're pro? Definition of professional is someone who gets paid to do something, so there are a lot of professional tackle players. There's only one three times world champion though. Bestily the bestily.
You dropped this king crown. Deal her I need one more. <laughs> I'll make sure Boy. I'll make sure deal here doesn't win the next one. That looks this good. I, I'm gonna be completely honest, alright? Completely honest. For deal here to win two in a row is an incredible achievement. Axel TV needs one more two. No, he only, he's only won one Punisher. What the M700 on labs? Is it challenge or a quest or just feel like playing with the M7? M700 is my favorite gun. PP19 M700. Oh, I'm still like the idea of the WWE. WWE style entrance of video video of Pestle entering the ring wall and announce the says the three times world champion. Yeah. I'm sure I'm ninety five percent sure BSG has set up Raiders in such a way that the first time they lock onto you or aggro, they have a delay in their response to account for a player responding to them. If they walk out of line of sight and come around the corner again, they insta shoot you. They need to turn the aggro turn the aggro already. Insta kill or every blind turn into a turning a corner after breaking line of sight. Slowly scan. They um. They they lock onto you after you leave their line of sight for like three or four seconds. So if you're patient enough to wait three or four seconds, you're fine. But yeah. Obviously, that one just came around and just insta beam me. It it's not even the fact that he insta beam me. It's the fact that he shot three bullets. Of 762 BP into my thorax instantly. Like, you don't even have time to react to that. Like, I don't even remember him walking around the corner. Thanks for the last year's worth of great content. You have helped me survive all this. Liar I see. Man. I'm really curious to see if I could get, um, Plague Doctor outfit into Rust now. Because, like, originally they were like, no. But maybe after that ninja outfit, I might be able to do it. I think it would really be cool in Rust too, because there's, like... Maybe you could have, like, extra rad... Oh, no, it's, it's, it's the rad suit anyway. Hazmat. Have you ever played cricket? Not, like, on a professional level, but... Like, I played it with mates and at school and stuff. Oh my god. Walked through so many walls recently. Apparently that shot hit. I don't know how that fucking hit. That was an M61. How did it... What did I hit that only did 59 damage to armor? There's no way that shot, shot hit. That has to be a bugged end screen. The red suit, anyway. Ricochet. Oh, no, I headshot him. Actually, do headshot him. That's an M sixty one to the head. Oh, 
How did it do that? What is the chance of that? Moist. So when you play D and D and you roll the dice. <laughs> Lord. That's still he tripped over and shot himself in the foot. I'm like this far away from just going, fuck it, let's play some Age of Empires. <laughs> nah. I wanna get I wanna get a solid kill first. I know why. I know why, chat. I figured it out. I figured out exactly why things weren't going our way. What's the name of the killer armor? I want to say 6B23. I don't know if that's right. 6B13. Close. Which is the um the tan the tan seven six two suppressor? Okay, see? Hmm, that'll do. Great job yesterday. Thanks, man. Hey, Pest. Pestily salute. Congrats on getting the goal yesterday. Thanks, what man. What you do for the kids is great. Can't wait for the hot tub stream. <laughs> Should be fun. Uh, standoff not a kid with the 20 for the kids. Fuck yeah, Starlight. Help, they helped me so much as a kid. Top bloke for doing this pest. Keep it up. Thanks, mate. Much mail. Thanks for the $15.65. Just want that. Fuck, I'm done. I'm done. I'm, I'm fucking done. I'm sorry, chat. Love your heaps. Don't be, give yourself a break. Obviously, you haven't been watching for the last hour. Yeah, like I was saying, I actually think, um, 
There's a pretty good possibility I'll be able to get a plague. A plague doctor outfit made. <laughs> Where's the Rust server? I think it's here. Oh, I just messaged the main guy, fucking Rust. I'd be interested to see his response. You don't seem you stream Rust that often. What would they give you one base off your follower count? Um, I've played more Rust than half the fucking streamers that have gotten drops that are like non Rust streamers, so. Is this his hind call? No, this is my main. No, I'm not bigger than people like fucking train and and all them. Like all like Greek god train, all those guys. They all got drops and they fucking. It was like their first day playing Rust. I've got, I don't know how many hours. I've got probably, I don't know. I've got two Steam accounts. Let me have a look. Rust. I've played on my other main, uh, other Steam account more. I've got 200 hours on this account. And then I've got my other account, which I've played more. Like, I know it's not fucking 5k Andes, but... Played a fair bit of Rust. It's probably one of my more recently played games. But to answer your question, um, being a notable streamer does does get you more opportunity to get that kind of stuff. But I don't think if you had never played Rust before, I don't think they they just chuck you a skin. See that right there. Ooh. I always see that right there. Like, I don't know what that is, but that right there. And for some reason, I always see the player. I go here, I go. I see that and I'm like, fuck.
know if you can top load this. You can, sweet. One of the M700 builds doesn't have an ability to top load. You know what would make me play Rust a lot more on stream? So I play it mostly off stream, right? The reason why I play... The, the one thing that would make me play Rust a lot more on stream is if they uh, did a hardcore mode. I think... I can't remember who I saw the tweet from. Might have been Coconut B or someone. A hardcore mode... Might have been Posty. A hardcore mode that... um Where there's no map. No global chat. That's pretty much it. Was it Posty that said it? Let me look. Posty. I know. I feel like it was him. It was. Here it is. Moy. New tier Tuesday idea from Metal Jackals. Pestily Beard tier S3. Now that we have softcore servers. So that helps beginners. How about hardcore server servers with no team UI, no game chat, no safe zones? I, I think keep the safe zones because I, I kind of like the idea you go to bandit camp and you can banter and shit. But yeah, get rid of the team UI uh, and no game chat and potentially no map. I think that would be fucking sick. Take a Star Citizen. I, I honestly have never played it, and I just I feel like it's way too in depth for me to like commit my brain to. gonna kill me. What if the map was only in the game was an, an only in game item I had have to craft and explore like Minecraft to see you could mark the map, possibly sharing markings with friends, etc. If they made it that you had to actually So imagine you press G on Rust and it's just a gray canvas. And as you run around, you explore more of the map. That would be pretty sick. I'd actually be fine with that. Did I actually explore the whole map? But like, I'm more just talking about like, Every time I stream Rust, you make the smallest mistake. You show global chat for a second. You literally show your map for a second. You is like someone like of my size instantly has people joining. Uh, uh, like the stream's not, and it just ruins the experience. I, I like the authentic experience, you know. Like that's why I like to play it off off stream. Keep all the VoIP in that. That's fun. Did you reach 100k? We reached 120k yesterday, which is awesome. Awesome. That's why OTV was good. Yep. 
pestily salute. I think, um... Like, it's, they don't have to do it, but if they wanted more streamers to get involved in the game, that'd be the best first step they could do. Is I know, like... I think you get to a point where you actually can play play Rust quite well, but then it gets detracted by all the bullshit that happens in Rust. Like, bullshit for streamers, I mean. So, you'd get more bigger streamers, or just more streamers in general, willing to stream it. If that was the, if that was the case. Yo, Plunky, thanks so much for the uh, nine months, dude. Is P Kiki going to butler the hot tub? No, she. we didn't reach 140k. I'm sure if we asked her to, she would, but... <laughs> oh, God. She would actually probably be quite handy because she'd be able to, like, say there's something going wrong with the camera setups and stuff. To be intelligent enough to be able to sort it out for us. Oh my god. I'm not here to fuck spiders, mate. <laughs> He's sticking around for that. Whew. What? Listed servers aren't fun. That whole um, OTV server was like... It was like... What? Like, I don't even know how to word it. It just wasn't fun. It had its moments where I was like, this is actually turning out to be all right. And then the rest of the time... Two guys in 33, thanks to the prom. Crafted map, no safe zones, and no team light was Rust 2017. Just a hardcore mode with no no global chat, no team UI. And I, I would play that game. A lot more. What really drew me into this game, the fact that the replayability makes it feel like... The way they've designed the game makes it feel like there's risk every raid, and it feels like you're playing um, a new experience every time. Whereas... Like, I can play Apex Legends. I love playing Apex Legends. One or two hours in, I'm done with Apex Legends. It's like, yep, I've dropped here, I've killed people, I've died, move on, do it again, over and over and over again. Whereas something like this, like, but that's what the design, the game's designed to be. Like, some casual play, players can jump in, they don't really have to care about anything, five minutes, ten minutes, hour, five hours, whatever they want to do. Whereas Tarkov... Thanks for the videos, your raid series was great. Happy to hear the charity streams went well too. Also, what lab keys would you recommend for a labs beginner? Just manage an office. The only one you really need. Um, thanks for two months, dude. Why do you play offline? I'm not offline. This is online. Apex is not shit. Apex is a really good game. Just because you don't enjoy it doesn't mean the game's shit.
As, as the Battle Royales come, it's the best Battle Royale. I haven't seen HD uh, RP, whatever it is. It's not HD RP, is it? It's just HDR, isn't it? Four months already times flies when the content is great. Thanks a lot for all your hard work, Three. Say, Apex was the best Battle Royale. I did. It's fast. It's fun. You don't have to be, like, really, like, good at Battle Royales to play it and enjoy it. Oh, my camera. You can you can literally play Apex Legends for half an hour and it can be enjoyable. Like that you couldn't play soul when it first came out um you can you just get get put with random people but the fact that it's always uh trios well there is actually a duo mode i think but the fact that it's always true makes it so that the games are always popping really fast apex is fun because you don't have to sweat to enjoy it What if I enjoy, what if you, what, what if you enjoy sweaty fonts? You can get them though. You can play super aggressive. You can play not super aggressive. The new format. Is it the bottom or at the top? The new format makes it so the more aggressive you play, if you're good, the more you'll benefit. Which I think is a good format. One more. Huh? the mountain to go in a week. Is 
Please no nade. What? How did he curve that nade? Ooh, that guy's gonna hurt. But uh, McNipple, thanks for the prime. Anoka, thanks for the 11 months. Reacts. Kool-Aid man. Thank you. Bravo 6 going dark. Where are the other PMCs? Just because it's like six in the morning when I joined this raid. Didn't no one join at the same time? And we're about five months into the wipe now. Should I go press sewer? Why would it extract? I'm actually behind on my ads right now, guys. So what I might do is I might run my ads now, which I never do during a raid. But yesterday I was fucking... I didn't run any ads at all really yesterday. And I need to catch up today. So, guys, I might run an ad now. I'm literally just going to run through the match trying to find more raiders, which I don't think there are any. And there's still 15 minutes left. So I apologize if you get one. Get Twitch, use your Twitch primes. Get Twitch Turbo. Refresh the page. But because of yesterday, I, I tried deliberately not run any ads yesterday. Or as minimal as possible. To try and make sure people are watching for as long as possible to, to 
raise money for charity. So I have to get be on top of it today. And this raid's being a lot longer than I thought it would be. I've got to do it for my contract, so... We can red container in, in the warehouse? Really? Got 9.05. That's a lot of 9.05. Two months. Thanks a lot, sweet prince. Glitch cat, pestily moist, glitch cat, pestily moist, glitch cat, glitch cat. Ah, that's done in there. Nice, peak. Thanks, Peak. All of other streamers, guys. Well, the thing about speaking ill about other streamers and then particularly joining in on that conversation, all you're doing is you're reflecting on... You're making the streamer that you're going into's chat be reflected as a bad community and a toxic community. And you don't want that. Like, I preach you anything. It's just like, do what you enjoy. If you don't enjoy it, don't do it. So, if you don't enjoy watching a streamer, don't watch your streamer. I think I've pressed every button now. I pressed main. I just haven't called the elevator. Not that that would do anything. Carton, thanks for the throng. Looking great. Glad you like them. Grenade. And heal for healing XP. I'm throwing the nades to try and find raiders. Currently level 41 and still shitting my pants and staring at my hideout way too much too pestily moist. I... <clears throat> I would... I'm jealous of you shitting your pants playing Tarkov. Like, the best way I can word it is, like, you play a game to feel something. Like, this game makes you feel terrified, excited. It gives you the highs, the lows, all these things. And the more you play this game, once you get to the point where you played, like, 7,000 plus hours to 8,000 hours like I have, like... I've actually, do you know yesterday how I got like shot in the head from fucking point blank and stuff? That was actually kind of cool for me. Like I know it's still, a, it's a death. But for me, that was actually kind of cool. Like it surprised me. Feeling that 
shock factor and that surprise factor. That's why I play games. Like, I want to feel something. So if you're playing Tarkov and you're like, you're shitting your pants and staring at your hideout, it's way too much though. I was sharing it, like, you know, like currently 41, still shitting my pants and staring at my hideout way too much though. But that's cool. That's cool, man. I didn't really jump too much in factory. I just got disappointed by it. Okay, it's 23 fucking fighting in a corner. Point blank killing me. I, I deliberately took the Meldonan just to prevent that, but... Maybe they need to buff the Meldonan. It's like... Um... Veritas did a really good video on it. You, like, you don't go watch... Um... Because you know how, like, tacos... Nikita said tacos not meant to be fun? And, and it's true. Like, you don't go and watch... A sad movie to have fun. You go watch a sad movie to feel... The feeling of being sad. Right? Like, or you go to a horror movie to watch... To get the feeling of fear... And horror, and, and to be scared. Um, so, Tarkov isn't meant to be fun. It's meant to make you feel like horror, excitement, scared. You know, adrenaline, and and um, what do you, what, what do you, what do you call it when you're like kill a squad? Like you, you know, you you the the peak that comes from that. <laughs> Exhilaration. Adrenaline rush. Yeah. And I could quite easily argue that those feelings are not feeling of fun. So, I don't know. This is my take on it, but... when The person that asked me before why I played Tarkov and what drew me to it was feeling those feelings. Games don't give me those feelings anymore. Like, I guess the best... The, the game most recently that's been able to do that was has been Rust. The feeling of an online raid. The feeling of of knowing something's going to be happening to your base at any time. The fear of logging off and and someone raiding your base. I found that like this is for me, and I've, I haven't played DayZ since a long time ago, right? I always felt like every time I played DayZ, my deaths were just depressing. Like, I spent hours and hours and hours running around, looting stuff, scavenging, hunting stuff, and then just died to a snipe from nowhere. It, there was never, there was never the, the build up, the never the, I don't know. I, that, that was the, how DayZ made me feel. So I kind of just got to the point where I just stopped enjoying it. But I didn't play it as much as like, Deadly Slob did, for example. I just got my ninja suit. Um, um, rust. Is Spoon Kid still on?
I play Rocket League for my rush something about being thrown into a physics arena and trying to slap on the ball in a cool way gets me going. And if you enjoy that, you should you should do more of it. Like the that's the thing about like um people get like, oh that game's trash. That game is trash for you. If someone fucking enjoys that game, good on them. You know what I mean? And that just that reflects to everything in life. Just because someone enjoys something doesn't mean that like you could and or someone doesn't enjoy someone something doesn't mean that you can't enjoy it it was actually a thing in life that actually took me a while to like to embrace like my friends would be like oh let's do this and i'm like i don't really enjoy doing that and my friends were like oh no it's, it's gonna be sick and i always do it i always just be like do what my friends wanted to do because they found that fun i didn't find it fun i found doing other things fun and i just kept doing what they wanted to do and i spent i probably lost i'm not saying i didn't actually get to do anything in job over my say 18 to 21 year old life but i didn't do a lot of things that i enjoyed for myself during my 18 to 21 years like my 18 to 21 period What happened to fishing streams? I did a few of them, but it's just the weather's bad. It's, it's now going into winter. I throw the nades to try and get um, raiders to talk. To give away their position. So I don't run around a corner into like five raiders. I'm not going out on a jet ski, man, if it's fucking choppy. You can do that. You call June, July, August, winter. Yep. story is do what you enjoy that was a pretty good raid for the fact that we didn't have a lot of raiders come in we didn't, if four more and we would have had it Moist. i always did poorly in school because i never enjoyed studying or doing things i didn't enjoy i thought i would be a failure in life but now that i'm in the workplace doing something i like i get obsessed and love working hard slash doing some i love i i honestly believe i'm a, a quite intelligent person but um i found school incredibly boring and it wasn't tailored to me at all like all i wanted to do when i was at school was go skateboarding that's it i didn't want to do anything else i like i just felt school boring really really boring um and i i knew i was a hard worker and so like as soon as i finished school and i and i started doing work i was like holy shit like you know and then um, after I joined the military and I was really motivated, like I was like, I was like, I'm going to do the best stuff, you know, like I was always like tr trying to go for special forces, all that kind of stuff and um, really motivated person. And um, I wasn't successful in getting a special forces like for multiple reasons, but mostly due to injury. Like my shoulders are cooked now. It wasn't an offline raid. There was just no players. Um, so when the army's like, kind of dicked me around. I was like that. And I felt like I wasn't going to progress in the army and I got out and they're like, what are you going to do? And I said, I'm just going to go fishing and play computer games. I'm going to figure out what I want to do with my life. Right. And 
all my bosses, my, my mates, everyone was like, you'll be back. Because they knew how motivated I was as a, as a soldier, right? I was like, I was a fairly motivated soldier. I was um, always doing like translating gigs. And I was I was always trying to do really cool stuff. Um, and they were like convinced that like this guy's going to be back in the army in no time. And because that's the general story. People are like, I'm going to discover myself, which generally that's a good idea. Get out and figure out what the fuck you want to do. Um, but yeah, like a lot of people feel fall into the trap, like no money, no, no mates. And then they go back to, to being in the army. So anyway, um, and once I started streaming and I started figuring out how it worked, um, cause like, you know, there is kind of a bit of a meta to how to fucking stream. Like a, there's like a, a thank you for your content i don't know how to word it guy. if you do certain things right you can have a successful stream no matter who you are you can have a successful stream your 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 success is deemed based off your work ethic and your creativity but i'm a very hard worker so and i, I know i'm a hard worker like i i did barely took a day off for the first like two years of my stream so um and whilst I might not have streamed every day, there was definitely, like, every time I didn't work, I didn't stream, I was still working those days. You can make 50 fouls in a row, you just need one time uh, right. It's Like, I agree, man. Like, I was talking to someone about the other day about, um, for, the, for the people that are like, oh, you know, what's the point? You know, chances of getting that to happen is very low. And I was like, you, you, you're better off having... 10 creative ideas and only one of them being a good one than having a thousand ideas and never even starting one because you're just waiting for the perfect idea. You know, like a lot of people procrastinate a lot, but don't try and push forward with their ideas. Metaphor streaming is a hot tub and a Sharpie for writing subs on your body. You know what, Tread? Do you reckon that's really true? Like, I'm going to be completely honest. Like, do you reckon that's really true? Me and a friend been thinking about some fun tack of Kadad. What you think of some type of gardening concept in hideout to which you have to find seeds to grow corn or something to turn into mer, etc. Ollie and places like woods could harvest. I think it's an interesting concept. I, I don't I just don't think it'd be a high priority on Battlestate Games' um to do list. But yeah, it's definitely a, a an interesting concept. Um, thanks to the thousand bits, man. So, if the hot top meta was like, oh, just do this and success, there would be streamers right now that would just be like, I'm on it. It's happening. Pest, love the, beard. the people doing those hot top streams that are having the success, they've got a very specific way of doing it that works for them. If, if it worked for everyone, everyone would do it. And yeah, there's people out there that'll be like, oh, but there's people that have morals and um, would fucking, you know, wouldn't don't want to do it because they they don't have the they've got morals and stuff. It's like, it's not that. It's there's there's there be it's like, I'm I'm explaining this really badly, but there's also a lot of people that don't have the fucking morals that would be trying right now to do a hot tub stream, and. I think it's going to be easier to do it like this. There'll be people all the way down here and they're like, it's not working for them. So why doesn't it work for them? You know what I mean? Fuck. How do you stand out in just chatting? Like, legit... How do you stand out and just chatting? Look how many fucking channels there are. Late sub a bit long overdue. For everyone in chat who's just said boobs, I'm going to tell you something. 
you think do you think Sequoia is successful because he's got a big mustache? I'm being legit. I'm not trying to be a a, a, uh, a smartass here. I'm actually being legit. All right. You know, you know the thing. I'm gonna like this is gonna be completely honest. The mustache gets people into his stream, but his personality is what keeps it keeps the people there. It's a hundred percent true, guys. It's his personality that keeps the people there. If, if he was boring as fuck, if he had no humor, if he wasn't fucking great banter, it would be, it would be, he'd be on 20 viewers, 30 viewers. It's honestly like, it's like having big boobs might get people into your stream, but they're not, they'll get people to click there, but they'll only stay there for a few minutes and then they'll fuck off to somewhere else. Right? Like, people that think that's like, oh, oh, all I need to do to be successful is have some big gimmick. And then it's success. Or oh, a big mustache. Or oh, a big chops like a Franz, uh, uh, Franz Joseph. You know? Oh, personally he's successful because he's got a Franz Joseph. No, I'm successful because I'm fucking hardworking. I got good banter. And I click heads, I guess. I don't know. I, I, I'm informative. And I'm real with you guys. I tell you the truth. I don't fuck around. I don't beat around the bush. You communicate with champ better than anyone and you were three times world champ. But like, I'm being completely honest here. So like, if you're a female streamer, like it would be fucking really hard to be successful on this platform. I'm, I'm going to say, like, I would not want to be a female streamer on this platform at all. Nope. Nope. I wouldn't even use a camera. I'd be fucking petrified. You guys are so fucking rude to me at times. I'm being completely honest. Not not the, the core community, but there is people coming into my chat every single day being like, you're bald. You look tired. You look like shit today. You look haggard. These Like, these are daily, hourly, sometimes fucking every five minutes. Now, imagine if I was a chick. You're not wearing makeup today. You're fucking... I don't know. You look you, you look like shit today. Like, show us your tits, like, all day. That would fucking wear on you. That would fucking wear on you. Like, I'm pretty thick-skinned. And, like, I, I can take the bullshit. But, like, it's true. Like, I, I get it every, like, sometimes every 10 minutes. But it's a choice. Fuck off, man. It's a choice that they got viewers coming in, like content that their makeup doesn't look great that day, and they're fucking constantly commenting on their appearance. I have a resting tired face. I'm not even joking. It's probably because I'm always tired. But, like, When I decided to take a break from life and You're enjoy a stream, people constantly pointed at things while trying to deal with my mom having terminal cancer. Uh, I said nope to the cam after that. Yeah, like, well, you don't know what's going on with people in the in the background. Like, what's been going on with them? Like, I could have been... I, like, I could have had a phone call that someone had passed away, and I'm like, all right, all I want to do tomorrow is just get on, get on the stream... And just, just play games and hang out with my community. And then all day the next day, someone's like, you look like shit. You look tired. You look like you haven't slept. Like, how is that fucking the streamer's fault? Right? Velk, thanks for giving me a place to drop my prime sub. It has to be sarcasm. It's not sarcasm when people are saying it, bro. I guarantee you. 
If I went through my unbanned requests right now, there would be hundreds of people banned for making comments on my appearance because I just don't give a fuck. I ban them. I just go, if, if, you're, if you comment about my appearance in the first three to five messages, I ban you. I don't give a fuck. Ever passed out because of deadlifting? No. Queen FPS does it really well. I, I don't, sorry, I don't know how, what she does. They don't have the balls to do that to the girls streaming. Bullshit. I often wonder what is worse, why no cam or dealing with you look underscore comments. I'd probably refer why no cam. I think Anton, like I, I was legitimately jealous of Anton, like being so successful with no camera for the longest time. Cause like Anton would have like a really, really strong and, and, and well-built community and he, and it, it'd have no camera. And it was just like, and you know what I mean? Like, His chat was horrible, though. But he gives as much shit as he takes. He gives as much shit as he takes. Like, I... See, there's a difference, chat. Like, we have banter. Like, I pick on you guys, and you guys pick on me. That is perfectly acceptable, right? But you guys aren't picking on my appearance when we're picking on each other. You know what I mean? Like... You guys know what I'm saying when I'm saying that. Like, what, like I'll talk about, I don't know, fucking just whatever topic, and we'll be talking about, I don't know, sex or some Favorite shit, and I'll be like, I don't have sex. Or, like, someone will say, like, can you, can you be my dad? And I'll be like, you know, like, depends on how hot your mum is and all that shit. Like, we're all picking on each other. Or can you say, like, can you say my friend's shit? And then I'll, I'll, call, I'll call his friend shit, but then I'll call him worse. You know, like, all that kind of stuff. Anton's just taking a break. Do you think the cam has good entertainment value though? hundred percent. More people watch streams with cameras than without. Your wife is my favorite announcer from yesterday. He doesn't know chat. The baby is finally here. Thanks for your hot and sweaty raids while whispering sweet knowledge in my ears. Keep doing what you're doing. Nice, right, dude. Man, if we could have got four more raiders that raid, it would have been nice. 68 divided by 21. Yeah, it would have been it would have been 3k. Cause then the looting XP on top. Four four three to twelve. 12 would have got us there. They just wouldn't spawn. Because people who really watch you understand your humor and know it's just banter and that we can joke with each other. 100%. You're the dumb daddy of Tarkov just saying. Thanks, Sherpa. Thanks for three months, dude. What's your guys' input on the Shadow Mask for armor? I like it, it's cheap. I don't like it, but there's nothing wrong with using it. Are you trying to beat your XP record? Yeah. I got 79k. It's my best. But they changed labs after I got that, so it made it a lot harder. No, I wasn't trying to go into like a full fucking I don't even know how I got on that topic. <laughs> I wasn't like trying to go on a big like fucking rant about appearance and streaming. 
Hot tubs. Oh, about the boobs and stuff in hot tubs, and that's why people are successful. Yep, I understand now. Mm -hmm. That wasn't my intention. Do, 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 do. What the fuck is sold? Mm, that's enough. Hey, Tom, you're going to buy a Falcon to do it for the Twitch contract. I'm curious if you've done a series for YouTube showing how fast you get Kappa on a main account after a wipe. Um, I haven't. I haven't. Moist. It, there's plans to, to explain it and show it next wipe, but it's still in the planning process, so next wipe you'll be able to see. All right, at time chat, I've got to do it for the Twitch contract. Use Twitch Prime, Twitch Turbos, add block, refresh the page. Do we have to do, but I've got to do it for the contract. Just got my first Capital Container. Is there any reason to keep my Gamma? Nope. Hope your day is going well. I was curious if you didn't no, answer that. Uh, you like the song? Yes, this is Nathan Cavallari. He's a good friend of mine, actually. Nathan. Hey, Pess, next baby coming, Dad. Greetings from Berlin, Germany. Next baby coming, Dad. Thanks for the 14 months, dude. Darren. Darren. Dun, 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 dun. Twitch drops inventory. Mm -mm. When do you think the next wipe will be? June, July. Six to seven months after the last one. I love you, jump in almost every time. Every stream, great, you're great and informative in the game. Down to earth and read your chat, even with 10,000 viewers chatting. Thanks for the content. My pleasure, dude. Why not run a suppressed DVL? It's an M700, bro. It's better than DVL. Have you, have you done an only VOG labs run before? I want to say yes, most likely. If I haven't done VOG, I've done F1s. What if after you fight your first round? What if after you fire your round with the bolt action rifles, you hold down the left click and press R to empty the chamber and load the gun without wasting a bullet? It's a small thing, but in my opinion, it should be in the game. You hold down left click and press R to empty the chamber and load the gun without wasting a bullet. As in, like, you physically take out a round, put it back in, and load it directly into the chamber? What do you mean by without wasting a bullet?
There's certain guns where bullets are wasted on reloads. You're joking, right? Are you talking about like where if I was to press R like now? Why he's gonna hit me on the side there? Were you talking about me just reloading before? How I, when I cocked it back, I, I lost the round? But that was, that was reloading without shooting the round. When you shoot the round, it empties the, it ejects the, it, it ejects the, the empty cartridge. Um, I was sprinting. That's why I did kind of like an underhand grenade throw. But if you want to, if you want to throw a grenade underhand, bind it, open it, right click. You want to see, see something even more crazy? Find it. It's... You hold left... I, want, I think it's hold left click. And then you can throw it over your head. I need, I need something I can throw over. So Alt and W. No, I can't remember exactly. Enjoy some of my favorite. You can throw grenades around corners, and you can. Anita hand job, Neil Anthony. Love you three. You can throw. You can actually throw grenades around corners and over your head. You're high on a box. You can actually, like, you know, you do that. Oh, actually, no, you do this. Do I have any more? So you do that, and then you press G, and it and it throws the grenade over the actual box. And if you do that, and you throw G, press G, it'll throw around the corner. They removed it. Are you sure? Why would they remove that? It's actually good.
He was right here throwing grenades up there. Because it's impossible to do that in real life? What? Go up the door, pull the pin and throw the grenade around the corner. Or stand behind a box, pull the pin and throw the grenade over a box. Come on. Sweet revenge. I killed you with a set with a old action. Oh, I can't stop yawning today. <laughs> 